Welcome to UK Explored. For this video, we visited one of the most requested areas from you lot, the viewers, and that's Smethwick. Smethwick is a town in the borough of Sandwell, and it's just four miles west of Birmingham city centre. To say it's an interesting area would be an understatement, in my opinion. Just check out some of these facts and figures Sandwell Council published. So Smethwick has a population of around 64,000. 76% of residents are ethnic minorities, which is way above the average of 27% across England. 53% of children's first language is not English, which again is way above the average of 19% across England. 25% of families are living in income deprived households in the area. 87 people in every 1,000 are claiming some job related benefits, which is way above the average. And the crime rate in Smethwick is 116 which might be below the average across Samwell, but it's still way above the UK average of 75 and classifies the area as dangerous. Walking around Smethwick, honestly, the first thing that shocked me was how much litter was everywhere and how just about every public space had been fly tipped in. This is an area called Cape Hill. It's a pretty busy district within Smethwick from what I can tell. Here is one of the many anti fly tipping signs you'll see around Smethwick because they obviously have a serious fly tipping problem but even threatening a fine of up to £20,000 doesn't seem to help. The irony is that there is almost always junk fly tip next to these signs. Something I saw in several spots around Smethwick as well were these piles of canisters with balloons by them. I believe this is something called ballooning where people fill the balloons with gas then inhale it to get high. The amazing thing is that there were several businesses open and operating like this one here who I'm not going to show you the name of whose properties literally look worse than the city tip where I live. And many streets like this one are just covered in litter. I just can't get my head around how the fly tipping and litter gets this bad across such a large area. And people who live in the area, I'm assuming must be okay with it to a certain extent. The shopping district reminded me of the high street in Lai, which we did a video on recently. There are closed down businesses, world food shops, takeaways, bookies. But again, the road is lined with litter. Some of the drains had even been blocked up by junk. And I'm not sure if that was the reason, but it smelt like sewage around the whole shopping area. It was really unpleasant to be around. And to think that there are a lot of takeaways there and places where people eat, it just doesn't feel sanitary at all. Moving on to the centre of Smethwick, there is this war memorial dedicated to the memory of the uh, Sikh soldiers from the British Indian Army who fought in the First World War and an ornate looking Sikh temple. But beyond that, there is a row of shops that look pretty run down and tired. It doesn't look too bad from above, but when you get up close to the businesses, you notice there is again a lot of litter everywhere. It's generally quite dirty due to being on such a busy road and the traffic was just madness to be honest. When you look around the back of the shops and the local area, things get even worse. I couldn't help but notice that there are a lot of betting shops across Smethwick as well. Personally, I consider them to be one of the predatory establishments that prey on vulnerable communities. Look, I'm not trying to knock anyone here. I always support local businesses and I appreciate the hustle, but I don't know, the state of the place just came as a bit of a culture shock to me to be honest. I'd be interested to know how this area has changed over the years and how rapidly it's been changing. If anyone watching this knows the history of the area, I'd love to hear about it. I explored quite a few of the housing estates across Smethwick and while the architecture did change quite a lot across the town, I saw a lot of the same problems and it was very evident that there is a high rate of poverty as the stats confirmed earlier. I saw the usual mix of sofas, fridge freezers and other bulky items being thrown out in the hope that someone will pick them up one day, which doesn't come as a surprise in an area with fly tipping as big as a problem as it is in Smethwick. There's a couple of high rise tower blocks, but it's mostly blocks of flats in the most densely populated and poorest areas. Again, it didn't seem to matter where I was going across Smethwick, litter and fly tipping is a theme. I even saw this notice in one spot from the council threatening to find people up to 95,000 for fly tipping as it's gotten that bad. But we know they're never going to impose that. Even if they did, no one is going to pay it. 
I don't know what the small print is, but it just sounds like a shallow threat to me. And that's the issue, right? Threatening people with fines just doesn't work. We know this. And it's proven by the fact that Smethwick has one of the worst flight tipper problems I've seen across the UK so far. On the crime side, I mentioned at the beginning that Smethwick has a crime rate of around 116, which means there are 116 crimes reported per 1,000 residents. That's pretty high when you consider the average crime rate across the UK is 75. And as we know, and as many people have pointed out in other videos, some of the worst areas in large cities and towns don't have the highest crime rates because a lot of crimes go unreported in areas that do have high crime rates. Anyway, while browsing the local news, I came across endless sort of wild headlines. Everything from terrorism offences to problems with gangs settling their rivalries in the streets. There are murders and serious assaults, county lines crimes, and shootings aren't that uncommon. A lot of the same issues that plague Birmingham, which is obviously a large city nearby, and further north across the black country. If you're visiting Smethwick for any reason, I recommend you do a little research on where you're going as some areas have a lot more crime than others. Looking at house prices, they're a little higher than I expected. The average for the last year in Smethwick was 252,000 range. This is largely because Smethwick has a good proximity to major cities like Birmingham and Wolverhampton, making it a popular choice for buy to lets and those who want to enjoy a quieter lifestyle while still having easy access to those cities. Anyway, that just about wraps up this video, giving you a look inside Smethwick. I'm glad you guys recommended it to me. It was an interesting place to visit and I'm happy I went there. Thanks for watching. If you live in or around Smethwick and have any information to add, please leave a comment below. And before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. Thanks and we'll see you in the next one.